I wanted to talk a little bit about the humidity that people worry a lot about humidity and yet it seems like it's kind of a mystery to people. Um, this, this was my, what I call my one hour bioactive build. It was, it, it took me 30 or 40 minutes to put together. It was cheap. It, uh, most of the materials came from the big box store or outside. And I did a video on it. But when I, when I put it together, I put three probes, one under the humidity probes, one under the plant, one on top of the rock there, and one under these slabs of bark, which are up off the ground. The frogs can, they're perfect hides for, for, for frogs. And the humidity on all three of these after we built it was 99%. And somebody said, hey, the humidity is gonna dry down with that screen lid, you know, and, and it's gonna be a problem without a misting system. So after seven or so days, the, the humidity on top of the rock was dropping to around 60, I think. The humidity in the room is around 40. And the humidity under the plant was around 93, and the humidity under the slabs of bark was still at 99. And that makes sense, right? Because the, the evaporating moisture will be trapped under that bark. So I didn't want to add more moisture to it, because if you do, you, you've already got plenty of humidity in that in this environment. So I just put this simple piece of foam on top, this packing foam. I left a nice big opening over here, and I left a nice big opening over there to keep our ventilation going. And now the humidity on top of the rock is the one in the center there, it's 89%. So over the course of 24 hours, the humidity went from 60 to 90%. And these are accurate, by the way, I've, I've actually calibrated these, so I know that they're accurate within just a couple degrees. The humidity under the plant went from 93 back up to 99. And the humidity under the slab of wood stayed at 99. So this is how you learn about the humidity in your, in your, uh, in your enclosures. And you can see there would be no reason in, that I would have to add any sort of water to this environment. Critically important is this fresh water. The frogs have to have fresh water in order to recharge their own systems with water, just like they would in the wild, with a little pond of water that they'd run into. And, and soak in the morning. There's nothing wrong with misting it. If these numbers drop much at all, I will, I will mist, you know, maybe once a week or so. Or when, when the frogs are new in there, I might mist them more, 